Hello and welcome to the 50th Commander Lucosa video for Elite Dangerous. Yes, 50. We've reached a milestone here. And what better way to celebrate, if that's the right word, the uh, 50th video than the first flight of the newest ship in Elite Dangerous namely the ASP which I finally got earlier today now I've already done a video uh, showing all the uh, features and the upgrade paths and everything else that the ASP has so uh, I don't need to go through all that again because this is the first time I've started the game up since that video so it is uh, well and truly, uh, uh, well, you all know it. If you don't, go and watch video 49 and then come back for this one. Right, you're back now? Good. Right. So now you know what the ASP looks like uh, inside and out. Um, so I don't have very many credits left. I have 48,464. So I'm going to need to be a bit careful. So I have, I must admit, already set my uh, destination. No surprise at all that it is back to LHS 64, which has been uh, serving me so well. So let's get us some bulletin board missions. Let's see what we can do out here. And are there any nice paying ones. Well, lots claim. I've got 48 minutes to do that one, so yeah, I can make that, no problem. But it's uh, 52 minutes for that one, again, no problem. Uh, an hour and three minutes, yes, okay, again, I can do that. I really want a Fisher platform one, that's it. Alright, I'll take that one. Lots claim again. Prices. Are they all locks claim or something? It seems as though it is. Oh, here we are. Right, another Fisher platform. Another locks claim. But the locks claim ones have a decent amount of time, so it's not a problem. That one's got 45 minutes. Yeah, I should make that. No worries. And another Fisher platform. And that is all of them. Now, because I have so few credits, I'm not going to eat up any more uh, of those credits by buying cargo. I'm just going to take the uh, bulletin board missions and leave it at that. So, let's uh, get ready to uh, launch. See how she handles. Ship released. Engines engaged. Well, she has that uh, sort of airplane propeller sound from within the the uh, cockpit as well as outside. So. I'm stuck behind this fucking eagle that's barely moving. I'm travelling at 19 and I'm catching up with it. If I move any slower, I'm going to get the bloody uh, trespass warning. There it is. Oh. Right, well, she moves faster than the uh, Type 6. She's also more manoeuvrable than the Type 6, despite the fact that I haven't actually fitted any thruster upgrades. I've no problem with that. Oops, pushed the wrong button. Let's go. Launching. 
see a tremendous amount of uh, flight this first uh, part because as you now know Fisher platform is very close to the main star here yeah, so we don't need to uh, go too far I mean, in Frontier, I certainly much preferred the larger vessels, the bigger the better. Uh, and I had the Panther Clipper for the longest time, that was the biggest sh ship in the game. And in Beta 1, I certainly felt much more at home in the Anaconda than in any other ship. So the chances are, on well, I'm going to prefer this to the likes of the Sidewinder and the Eagle and, and all that business. But after that, I'm not too sure. Although, first impressions are good. Although, once we come out of the Super Bricks here, this will be the first big test. Here we go. Yeah. We dock at the same platform or the same uh, landing pad rather that we did in the Type uh, Type Six. And he said Type Three. I'm sure there is going to be a Type Three, but uh, I'm not sure where I heard that from. But uh, I'm sure there will be one. Anyway, I'm straying way off the topic again. Seem to do so often. Deceleration is not bad. Warning, landing gear not uh, Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Deceleration there was a bit sluggish. There we go. Successful maiden voyage. Although it was very quick. Uh, but we're back to the mega expensive uh, fuel costs. Okay, alright, well. We get uh, that back and more. Alright, any more for uh, locks, uh, whatever you call it. Oh, got room for that one. Oh, just had room for that one. I've got no more space after that. Yeah, okay. Now, how long do I have? Oh, 12 minutes. And that's for that big one, so I definitely don't want to lose out on that. Okay, here we go. Time to head to Locks Claim. See the stuttering is no better in the asp. I really fucking hate motorcycles. Ship released. Engines engaged. Up to 340 with the uh, boost. Yeah, 
drive charging. Not terrible. It's not fantastic, but it's not uh, terrible. Three, Maybe with two, uh, improved thrusters, that will be uh, somewhat better. I mean, I guess the the real test of this ship will be when uh, it goes into combat. But I think I'm still some way off uh, being able to do that. But first impressions are very favourable. Then again, I was always going to say that, you know, I mean, it's a new ship. And it's yeah, it's it's the ASP. It was um, yeah, it was one of my favourite ships in uh, Frontier, despite it being fairly small compared to the ships that I you know, was really targeting. In Frontier, it was a two-seater. And it was actually the second two-seater ship I got. The first one I got was the Constrictor. And that was pretty terrible, if I remember rightly. Although, I would still like to see that ship in, in this game as well. But then, I make no secret of it, I'd like to see all of the ships that were in uh, Elite and Frontier in this game as well as a few new ones. I'm not so fussed about the ships from first encounters. The ship design in that game never really grabbed me. Because the good thing about getting this ship out in this area is that I have this like safe region and this uh, fucking stuttering um, but also you know all these missions including plenty of these high paying ones like this one I'm doing here Once I've got this upgraded to the sort of levels that I want, request granted. With plenty of uh, cargo space, then uh, yeah, we'll have a, a seriously uh, good all-rounder. I think this is probably the ultimate all-rounder. It certainly usurps the uh, Cobra for. Uh, the all-rounders title, this is superior in every way. so long to uh okay, landing gear is deployed and okay This big page one. Now only two credits for that. Okay, 
well I'll take that. So, that one there. We're up to 89,000 and then this big one, now we're up to 145,000, now that's not bad. So we're making progress already. Already we're pretty close to being able to get one of the reasonable upgrades that I saw. That's full of them. I really want to do uh, some more out here. I'll take that to Fisher. This is another one of fishes, I'll take that. Please be a fish in Alright. How long do I have? Oh, well over an hour for both of them. Right, well, that means it's not going to make the most exciting viewing, but I am going to wait a bit and see uh, what uh, other bulletin board yeah. missions come along. Because I am in no hurry to get these ones done. In fact, yes, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to get these two ones to back to NLT blah de blah de blah. NLT T49528. And then I'm going to go back there, sell all this stuff, and then come back and do those two missions. That's another 2 hours 51, so yeah, no problem with that one. Just one of the orders, bulletin. Yeah, so definitely take that one, that's paying 10,000. still on the bulletin board. Still there. Alright, let's take some more to LHS 64. Okay now, how many of these can I take? How long has that one got? 45 minutes. Yeah, I can do that. Twenty-five. That will be cutting it a bit. Twenty-five again. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll skip those. How much of my cargo space is that using? Sixty-one out of seventy. Okay. So you have to go to the Fisher platform first because that mission that I've got there gives me very little time indeed. And then from here. We can then go to uh, NLT or NLTT, and then there we can look at maybe getting the next upgrade. Ship released. Engines engaged. distance 
away from the uh, outpost. Artificial oh, platform. No longer mess up, let's go. Do rather need to get a Four, bit of a move on. Three, two, one, engage. the way, what better time to light up. Uh, the most impressive thing so far with this ship is that uh, the upgrades that I thought it was going to need badly it doesn't seem to need them as badly as I thought namely the manoeuvrability of the thrusters I thought that would be the top one and it will still be one of the first upgrades I get if I can afford it you know if they got them in but uh, it's not as vital as I expected. A shield upgrade would be perhaps more important. But it's not gonna let me get one of them. Oh no. So I may have to make do with getting the shield cell and just keeping that around for when it's needed. No doubt it would need to be activated as like a part of a weapons group, so that means it's going to mean uh, weapons group switching and a lot more than I'm used to. So changing combat strategy might be in order. to request docking permission. Request granted. It's been given and again I haven't got a fucking clue where the uh, docking bay is. It's on the other side again. I'll just bump up the speed a bit so we can get there a bit faster. 252. She's not the fastest ship around. Yeah, deceleration perhaps isn't its strongest point. I thought it decelerated better than that, but it appears not. Right, where's the fucking landing pad? Ah, oh, I think I can see it. Up here, yeah. Acceleration is definitely a bit of an issue. Let's stick the landing gear out anyway. It does not feel like I'm making a meal of this landing. I hope I'm in time. Okay, 
Okay. Again, I need one credit this time. Scrap. Oh, where's the big one? Must be this one. There we go. So we're up to 213,000. Now we're heading to NLTT. So I'll take you. everything so let's go into commodities and buy uh, polymers to fill up the cargo bay only 28 tons of them that is better than nothing okay and we are all set Let's also take a look at how long we have for these missions. Uh, okay, 16 minutes is the uh, first one that runs out. We'll get there long before then. Maybe, just maybe, I'll think about some uh, weapons when we get there. Although I'd like to get all of the systems set up before I start putting weapons on.
far as time goes on that mission, it's only been three minutes. Mm, just for a nice change, fucking stuttering. There was no stuttering whatsoever in Beta 1. Now in Beta 2, with SLI support, it stutters like King George VI. Get that. Because you make a mistake of trying to use the yaw, and the stop that comes along. So you haven't seen yourself move, and the next thing you know, you've shot bloody miles away from where you were planning on going. This ship is incredibly quiet once it's reached its top speed. Because there's so few dust particles now, too few if you ask me, um, it's hard to judge your actual speed. It also means that uh, it's not so easy to even tell if you're moving. Request granted. Warning. Detecting hostile scan. they consider that acceptable, like that much stuttery within the fucking docking station. You know, are you supposed to dock with docking that lot going on? Engines disengaged. <coughs> 825 fuel for that one. Fucking hell. Oh, it's a good job I've got plenty of these. Right. Okay, not bad at all for that little lot. Now for the last few. Gives me a profit of 4,592 out of a sale of 7,588. So I've broken the 300,000 credit uh, barrier already. safely say this ship's not doing too bad. So now we can uh well, once we've uh you never know, I may have forgotten to cast some uh vouchers or something. Uh, Alright, let's take a look at the outfitting. What have we got? G5. How much of an improvement are they? 
the optimal mass is up by 70 maximum mass is up by 105 well, that's not bad I'll consider them train shift drive the only one there that is an E5 and that's 1.7 million <laughs> yeah would be nice uh, it was fast as I looked at wasn't it right power plant uh, G5 it is an improvement but how much of one uh, well the mass is certainly nice the power capacity is up, but not an awful lot. What's my current power draw? I have no idea. I'm only using 64%. Okay, so power's not really a priority. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll risk skipping them for now. Power distributor I've already done. Sensors are not important. Uh, the cargo rack, I don't think I can afford the 64. I haven't got any in at the moment. I did have some, as you saw in the earlier video. But, mm, okay. That's a no go. don't have the improved uh, discovery scanner but I think it's too expensive anyway so I don't really want to go with G's uh, no I didn't, it wasn't them, it was thrusters which are 189 so that will leave me with not enough for thrusters and power plant now an F5 power plant would be very nice that would be much more worthwhile I have to do a few more missions though before I can get that Thrusters did have a nice improvement, not fantastic. And of course, I'll get this money back if I have to upgrade them, so... Right, I'll get the thrusters. Oh, I will get some money back. So I've got 176,000. Damn it, don't tell me that means I'm just shy of the... Oh, look at that, 13,000, that's all I'm short. I'll need a fag after that. Um, I will. I could upgrade the two cargo racks that I have so that there's an 8 and a 4 oh, the 8 there, the 4 there it's not going to give me a, you know, a huge amount extra in, in terms of cargo capacity but every little helps so. ok, I'll right, we'll take that Take that. Right. So that gives me 76 in cargo space. I've just been sitting here working out what all I needed to do was look there. <sighs> Um, 
so I have 166,967 now I could carry on getting like small little bits but I would rather save the money now and get like the decent stuff so yeah I'll do that so it'll be a case of doing a few more missions and picking up a few upgrades as we go so by the time I do my next video we should uh, have a few more upgrades fitted so there we go that was the maiden voyage of uh, Commander Lucosa's ASP and I think uh, she did very well indeed so um yeah that's that's it really so this is commander lucosa signing off